Hi, Laura Cork from Technique Peak. In previous videos, we had discussed um, seeing a patient coming into your office that may possibly be in an open birthing pattern. So today what I'm gonna do is go over how would I assess that in a patient and also some treatment techniques that I would use to correct things as I see them coming up during my assessment. So if a patient um, comes in and they're complaining of that right-sided low back pain or the incontinence or that feeling of ungroundedness that we had talked about in other videos, you're going to want to take a look at their pelvis in a supine position first. So what I usually do first is I check the levels of their ilium to see if one side may be more anterior rotated, one may be more posterior rotated, one ilium could be more inflared, one may be more outflared. So what you're going to do is you're going to get your thumb right underneath that ASIS. You're going to check for that levelness first to make sure that they're both level. If one may be more anterior than the other, more uh, posterior than the other. Then you also want to check on the inside of the ilium to check to see if you see any kind of like inflare or outflare going on. And in this case, I feel that her right ilium is a little bit more inflared compared to the left. So the other thing you want to do is you do want to spring on these bones to check for um, hyper or hypomobility or a, a sense of hardness. So when you spring on an area, especially if I want to do this ilium first, the way you do this is you load it up, you pause at that end range, and at the very end you give an end range spring to just check to see what kind of mobility we're dealing with. And then you do the same thing on the opposite side. So you load, you pause at the end range, and then you give a spring. And in her case, I feel a little bit more hardness on this side. So I would go ahead and treat this side to help try to, um, well, in her case, it's the inflare. So I'm going to actually check that on a spring. So I'm gonna go from the inside of the ilium. I'm going to load it, get to that end range, and spring. The same thing on this side, I'm gonna load, get to that end range and spring. And I definitely can feel a little bit more hardness on this side. So in her case, I'm going to stabilize the opposite ilium. And I'm just gonna go on the inner aspect of that ilium on the right. And I'm gonna hold that position until I feel a sense of ease, until that ilium releases a little bit and then gets more mobility. Laura Quirk, Technique Peak. Thank you.